All right, here's a problem from your homework, problem number 11. We're supposed to subtract these um, two polynomial expressions. So we got a z squared here and a z here. And over here, we also have a z squared and a z. But we also have this constant term. All right, now the first thing we got to do is realize that we're subtracting. Um, so this negative sign right here in the middle, we're going to have to distribute through. So it's going to change the sign of all these things in the second set of parentheses. So originally we got a minus 5/18 z squared. All right, and that's going to become a plus 5/18 z squared. All right. And a minus 1/6z and a plus 17/18. So that's the first thing we need to do is get rid of that first set of parentheses. Um, well, both set of parentheses. We don't really need this set of parentheses. It's just showing that this is an expression minus another expression. But to get rid of this second set of parentheses, we do have to distribute the negative. So notice 5 18 z squared, it was negative, and now it's positive. Plus 1 6 z, now it's minus 1 6 z. And then minus 7 18 plus 7 18 because there was a minus sign out here. Okay, if it had been a plus sign, we wouldn't have had to do that. All right, now remember, notice we got a z squared, a z squared, a z, and a z, and then this constant term. So we've got common. Uh, or uh, like terms. So the 1 6 z squared I got in yellow here. The 5 18 z squared I got that in yellow also to indicate they're the same. The 1 3rd z and the 1 6 z they're the same t as well. So what we are allowed to do, you don't actually have to show this step, but what we're allowed to do is rearrange this to put the z squareds together and the z's together and we then combine the like things. Okay so this expression when we're done is going to have a z squared, a z, and then this constant is going to be 17 18 right? But we've got to combine these two things together. We've got to combine these two things together, okay, because they're like. Now we're going to start off with the two z squareds. So I've got, oops, I've got the 1 6 z squared plus the 5 18th z squared, okay? That's these two things together. Now, I need to get a common denominator, all right? Because they're fractions and we're adding fractions. Remember, if this had been like a, just a, a 5 z squared and a 3 z squared, we just add 5 and 3. Well, we do the same thing if it's fractions. It's just we have to remember how to add fractions. You need a common denominator. So the common denominator here, 6 will divide 18, so that means the common denominator is 18. And because of that, we end up with 3 18 here. 5 18 is the same because that 18 was the common denominator, so I already had the common denominator here. But over here we had to change. We went from a 6 to an 18, so that means we multiplied by 3 to get there, so we had to do the same thing to the top. We had to multiply that by 3. Alright, so 1 6 and 3 18 are the same thing. You can check it on your calculator. 1 divided by 6 is that decimal. 3 divided by 18 is that exact same decimal. They're the same thing. It's just we got a common denominator, so uh, we could combine the two fractions. All right, and then 3 18 and 5 18 will combine to 8 18 That has a common factor of 2, so we divide that out, and we end up with a 4 9 z squared. We combine these two. So this piece right here, we can rewrite then as 4 ninths z squared. All right, moving to the next one, the negative 1 third z minus 1 sixth z. All right, so we're going to start off with that. Common denominator here is going to be 6 because 3 will divide 6 evenly. So when we do that, we end up with a 2 6. Okay, same, same reasoning. We didn't change this one, okay, because the common denominator was 6. This one we changed to a 6. So that means we multiplied by 2. So we're going to multiply this by 2 to compensate. All right, and now they're both negative. So remember, when they both have the same sign, we just add the two numbers. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And then we just keep that same sign of negative. So 3, 6, z. And then that will reduce to a half. All right, so this first two is a 4 9 z squared. This next two is a negative 1 half z. And then the constant, there's nothing we can do with that. So we end up with... 4 9 z squared minus 1 half z plus 7 18 
is what these two things combine to.